everyone. I'm Sheila Lunsford. I'm Rebecca Johns Womack. And I'm Carrie Latham. And we are here <laughs> in a cozy little kitchen. We <laughs> love to, uh, we're not going to tell you where we are. This is just a surprise to you. <laughs> it's How a about secret. That? There you secret. Go. Yeah. Secret. <laughs> we're going to talk today about my why, my purpose. Like what gets you out of bed and what are you living for? So that's going to be a great topic. But first, coffee cup mugs with the source shelves. Yeah. What you got, Sheila? Mine says do what you love, and as we get more into our topic today, I'm going to tell you about what I love and why I do it. Perfect. What's your coffee cup say, Kathleen? Mine says everyone is entitled to my opinion. This is a fun <laughs> cup. I love your opinion, though. <laughs> Don't we love her opinion? I like her opinion. You yeah. know what? I think we call you for your opinion, actually. That's how much we love her opinion. I agree. It's a bit of humor, but it's just letting, you know, it's a reminder that, that we matter, and our opinions do matter, and speak up. That's true. That's right. It's kind of a speak funny right. cup, but it is a good reminder. And it's okay mm -hmm. to speak up. Right. What you got, Rebecca? My coffee cup is a plain white mug. <gasps> Why is that? Ah. But yesterday, I started mapping out my goals, my own personal goals, and reevaluating mine from 2018 and looking out for 2019. And I just uh, got really excited realizing that each year, each day is a brand new slate, and I know that sounds hokey. I know it does, but it's, it's it's that's it's honestly profound. how I feel today. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Okay, so yeah. you're saying that for the next year? Yes. It, it's every morning it when I wake point. up is a blank day. Yay! Yeah. I love that. I think that's, that's my favorite. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's up to you to decide. Yeah. What kind of attitude do you wake up with every day? You get to choose. Yeah, paint that cup every day. Yeah. Okay, so mine says follow your dreams, and inside it says they know the way. And I like this. The so last last episode on depression, I had the coffee mug that said, um, if life throws you lemons, make lemonade. And my whole point being that we give lemons a bad name. Lemons are more valuable. And I want to add to that after watching it back. How many yeah. other things in our life are we maybe shunning that have value, and we aren't giving it time to see the value? So I want to say that real quick about the lemons, but I think that dreams, the word dreams gets a bad name. Think about how they go, oh, he's just dreaming. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's 45 and she's still living that dream, you know, <laughs> trying to make that dream happen. Without our dreams, where do we, how do we find our passions? And you've mm -hmm. got to know your passion to find your purpose, don't you think? And you've got a clean slate to make it happen. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. Is that our coffee cups? Yeah, that's yeah. our coffee Shout cups. Shout out time, and I don't have my little green owl today. Okay, who knows who S. Truett Kathy is? I happen to know. You do? I don't. Yeah. Who? He's the founder of Chick-fil-A. Yes. You're so oh. smart. Okay, that's our Kathleen. <laughs> Your opinion matters. <laughs> hey, so, you are so smart. when we talked about doing this show, we always do a shout out for a business, and I was trying to think, you know what? The shout out today is going to be someone I think really found their purpose in life. And I think that S. Truett Cathy, when he made that Chick-fil-A sandwich, mm -hmm. he did. So, instead of a t-shirt today, we're going to give away a Chick-fil-A little gift pack. And it's got a red tumbler. It's got the little cow inside. Oh, and it's also a gift so card. Cute. I don't know how the gift card. Yeah, the gift card actually was already in there. I think it's for like probably 10 bucks. One of nice. their meals. So, um... If you're following us on Facebook, we will find you or send us a great message. We haven't really decided how we're picking our people yet because um, the subscribers are private on YouTube. So send us an awesome email. Subscribe. Subscribe. Go on YouTube and subscribe yeah, to us. Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. show us who you are or Facebook follow us or send us a great message that you love Chick-fil-A and maybe we'll send that to you. Okay? Hey, yes. The yeah, first okay. person to do that gets it. Yeah, the first person that sends us, sends us a message, you get the Chick-fil-A and we'll announce that. So hopefully, um, Laura has received her t-shirt that we mailed to her and Tina. Both have already won t-shirts. We've got to give away that last one. All right. Anyway, what's our purpose and our why? Why do we wake up in the mornings? Oh my gosh. There's so many, so many things, so many reasons. Um, you guys know I'm a real estate agent, a, a broker, and I've been at this career for 16 years. And probably about three years ago, it occurred to me why I love what I do so much. Okay. I never played sports. Did you all? Did I did. Play sports? Some big sports. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so oh, you know. Yeah, there you yeah. <laughs> so you guys know that thrill of victory, mm -hmm. right? At the end of the game, you've won. Mm -hmm. You scored the last touchdown or the last field goal or whatever. And I never had that because I never was on a, an organized team sport situation. 
or in that situation. And so in real estate, when I get to the closing table, that is my victory. That's your touchdown. That is when, yes, that is my touchdown. That When I have a happy buyer, a happy seller, mm-hmm. hopefully both, right. um, that's the goal. But when that happens, that's my victory. And that's when I just feel completely victorious that we've made it to that end goal. And I think my purpose is real estate. I have figured mm-hmm. out um, career-wise that is my purpose because I feel like that's my mission. In right. Life. I enjoy every every um, step of that process. Sometimes it's painful and sometimes it's scary and sometimes it doesn't come together. But that end, um, result, the end result is satisfying what you need in your life exactly. to go yeah. hoorah today. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because, um, you know, everything that we talk about, none of this is scripted. And so we just talk. And um, I think what inspires me, which kind of goes right along with that, about helping people obtain Mm -hmm. a victory, is that um, I I truly, what inspires me is to inspire other people. And I was in education for 25 years. And I think that's one of the things I love so much about it is seeing that light bulb click with a student. And again taking them towards that, that victory. And I never mm-hmm. thought about saying it that way until Sheila, you just said it that way. So I, I truly, every day, that's really what makes me charged up is to truly inspire somebody else. That's awesome. That's really I funny. see that in, this is funny because when I'm watching back our shows or working on like editing, things like that that we do, I can see that in your face when one of us mm-hmm. says something and a light bulb goes off in your face. I'll go, <laughs> her country Rebecca, she just... That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Don't y'all see that? Sure. I've learned so much from you three ladies just from us doing this. I really have. Yeah. And that's been unbelievable. I agree. I'm saying same boat. Same boat. Yeah. What about you, Kathleen? You know, and listening to you ladies and thinking about how I grew up and and where I am now, I was raised by a single mother. My father died uh, unexpectedly when I was seven years old. And watching my mother manage a family, manage a life keep all of us fed and under a roof um, was very inspirational and I have always wanted to prove to the world that I was capable. Um, So when I finished college, I started on a career path that I I knew that I wanted to use my intelligence, use my abilities to make a successful life. And as a, as a business owner, as we all own our own businesses, right? I think sometimes maybe I've, I've grown into someone who wants to be a leader. Um, and I think those, those desires started from when I was a child and mm-hmm. wanted to blaze my own path and continue, continue that now. So I think that's my why is supporting my family, using my abilities and my mm-hmm. knowledge and, as a woman, saying that I can, I can do this, I can run my own business. Yeah. And I think that... Um, Sorry, we have, come here, Harley. We have a laser that's yeah. running around in the studio. He's our uh, bodyguard. That's how much aware we are. Trying, the, the paparazzi's outside or something. Right. Um, it's interesting, too, where we are with this because obviously there's some people who are born, like my brother and sister were flying planes at 16. They just knew. I didn't. So I've just followed dreams and passions all my life. I'm someone who just goes 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 and I feel like you at this point Sheila real estate is just everything I love Mm -hmm. about my day my schedule um, helping people so I think you know people say that when you find your people who know their purpose are the happiest people Mm -hmm. I I mean and so think about it like when you get in a car to go somewhere and you don't know how to get there and you're just like somebody pull up a map where you know Mm -hmm. as soon as you know make a left make a right we're going to go around the roundabout, get off the first one. You feel some comfort. That's right. That's true. Gives you confidence. Because you to continue got direction. Going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which years ago, you know, there was that book, The Purpose Driven Life. Yeah. It was on the bestseller list for for many, many, many weeks. And I actually tried to start that book probably three or four times. And it was too overwhelming for me, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So I want to encourage people, anybody out there, it's... it's Follow your dreams. What 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 is your dream? And if you have never thought about what your purpose is, really take some time and examine that, and go for it. Step out of the boat and 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 follow it. You know how often and us all we are. Kathleen said it. Entrepreneurs basically we all have our own real estate business, mm-hmm. and through our lives and all of our trainings and your teachings and everything that we've all done, 
How many times are we told um, write a mission statement for your for your company in or your everything. job and everything? I think we need a mission statement for our life. How great to to, to know your um, your passion, your strength, and your values. Turn that into a mission statement for yourself and wake up every day knowing what you're headed for. Because if you're going to uh, you know West Virginia today, your map's all the way to the end, right? And you're going to take those steps. So what if your life was like that? And you knew the destination every day. It would definitely make yeah. a difference. I mean, why in, not a mission statement? There. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Why not a mission statement for your own life and follow that? And don't let, you know, I think along the way, too, you mentioned dreams. Don't let people rain on your dreams because there are plenty of naysayers. There are plenty of people who would say, you be a real estate agent or you be an attorney or a doctor. Are you crazy? You'll never get there. Right. And, and unfortunately, um, Sometimes you just have to put a distance between the naysayers and do what you want to do so you can find that passionate place that you're after. Okay, yeah. that's excellent. That is excellent. Yeah. Because, yes, when I was in education for 25 years and I completely retired out, did a career change into real estate, people thought I was nuts. And they told me I was nuts. Yeah. And what are you thinking and how are you going to survive? Well, I'm surviving. I'm doing better than surviving. I'm flourishing. And so, actually, you're passionate about what you're doing. And I love, yeah, I love well. inspiring yeah. people that way. Well, there's it's different awesome. journeys, right? There's yes. different journeys, I think. Yes. Um, so you that was your purpose at the moment, and then that's turned in. I look back at all the jobs I've done, and sometimes I love real estate so much, and I'll say, some people will ask me, do you wish you had gotten into real estate a long time ago? Because I started real estate at 47 and I'm 54. So that's not that long. But I mean, again, I've dug in and I've gone for it. But I answer no, because I don't think I would be the real estate agent I am without all the other jobs that I had. I totally agree. That have made mm -hmm. me so well-rounded as far as taking care of and being an advocate for my clients. Yes. It's who I am today that makes me that person. I look back on my journey 16 years ago and, and literally can see every step of the way where I believe my path was directed by God. Mm -hmm. Every step of the way, a door was open that led me to the next step. And there were times, not lying, um, that I would question, Is do I move forward with this? Do I have what it takes? And honestly, I lack the confidence in yeah. a number of cases. But again, not being fearful, I thought, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is I won't like it or I won't do well, and then I'll just go do something else. No, it goes it back. Just, yes, and it goes back. I'm sorry. i got to be honest. It goes back to the episode. It keeps coming up in my mind, the one about what was your mother right about. <laughs> you put on the ball sack, and you do it, and you did it. Yes. And, and yeah. everybody can do that. And you know what? And you said uh, there's going to be naysayers, but there's also people who... Maybe you're in a lull and you haven't completely found your purpose and then all these other people want to tell you what you should be doing oh, or giving point. you suggestions and mm -hmm. becoming influences in your life. And so you go, well, mom mm -hmm. said that, you know, I, UPS was hiring and I should do this or that mm -hmm. or, you know, that's fine. UPS, that may be great and it's a great career for somebody, but is your passion in it? So be sure you're following your passion, not someone else's thoughts for you. That's true. I just you just made me think of something too. We we all we so often don't see ourselves as others do. Mm, We've right. talked about that in terms true. of image and yeah. and in all in all sorts of areas. And I think sometimes it's a good idea to just talk to someone that you really love and trust and have them tell you what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses. And if you can learn what your strengths are, mm -hmm. I think you can probably easily find a career path or a, a volunteer path, whatever right. it looks like for you that you would want to follow and yeah, using you, those strengths. Exactly. And I think mm -hmm. when you recognize your strengths you are, and you focus on them, you can go back and strengthen your weaknesses. Whatever Absolutely. your weaknesses are, you can strengthen those. Yeah. Everybody oh, yes. has different oh, yeah. gifts and different passions. Yeah. I um, was really inspired by the movie Bohemian Rhapsody that just came out about Freddie Mercury right. um, when he wrote Bohemian Rhapsody, the song, and it's six, seven minutes long, and the record executives told him there's no, there's nowhere for this. Uh -huh. There's no song on the radio that's more than three minutes. Yeah. And, you know, he believed in his creation. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's the most famous song in the movie. I think. Everybody knows yeah. that song. Yeah, right. So if you're, we are very directed women. Okay, we are. We've shown that. That's why we're doing a talk show. We feel like we have value to bring to you. So for someone watching that's like, where do I even start? I recommend, and we've talked about this, a vision board. 
Absolutely. Get out magazine. Sit down and, and, and see what does your eye stop on? What thrills you when you see it? And, and post a board and scotch yeah. tape. Mm -hmm. And make a vision board. What makes you get up out of bed in the morning? Yeah. Is it a new car? Is it a house? A family? A, a big wedding? Children? Is it painting? Is it running? Yeah. Is it sports? And maybe um, maybe you love to bicycle. And you think, oh, I can't make money bicycling. I don't know. Dig into it. Maybe mm -hmm. you can. Maybe you can somehow. Oh, I'm go so sure. It. Something you can do that sure. lights your fire. And I want to say this too, and I hope this doesn't. I don't think your purpose should be my purpose is to be a great wife or my purpose is to be a great mom because you have to have a purpose that's more centered than that, right? Because I think the happier I am with my own purpose, the better wife I am, the better mom I am. But if I'm relying on things that are outside of me waking up and being happy inside, because your kids grow and go away, Right. You know, your husband, you know, you can't count on him to make you happy. He's, you know, maybe at work just like you are. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I, I, I think I see exactly what you're I trying to say. I think you're say. saying, bottom line is, you're responsible for your own happiness. And, right. and it and needs to be... Well, I've got a 15-year-old, and that's one of the things that she's dating. And one of these things that we, that we talk about is exactly what you said, Carrie, is that I believe that when she gets married one day, she needs to be a full glass and he's mm -hmm. a full glass. Mm -hmm. I do not believe half glasses complete somebody. You're a full glass. He's a full glass. And together you make each other overflow. Right. That's a great And thing. you know right. that yeah, you're happy. Like that. Yeah. That, that, you said it exactly right. I don't even need to say anything else. But you got mm -hmm. exactly what I'm trying to say there. So if you're looking for your purpose, it needs to don't say, well, I'm a wife and I'm a mom. Find a passion for yourself so that when those factors are not in the room, you're still happy about. Yes. Um, I want to say really quick too, um, and I told Sheila I had read this, and so I'm going to do this quote. Victor Frankel was uh, a Holocaust survivor, and he then wrote um, Man's uh, Search for Meaning, a book afterwards. But he said, if you, if you know your why, you can bear almost any how. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if I know my why, I can bear whatever it takes is my how to get to it. I mean, look what he did. He survived um, concentration camps. So um, what a great person to say mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So if you figure out your purpose in life and you know what it is and you write a mission statement and you get up every day, consistency is everything. Look at a great sports team. Let me mention Alabama really quick. Look at a sports <laughs> team. Who was really in the game Roll recently time. with Georgia yes. versus Georgia. How many people thought there was only five mm -hmm. minutes left in the game and we, we Alabama fans, yes. were two touchdowns? Behind, who thought five minutes would be time enough to win that game? So remember that in life. If you think, well, I'm a certain age, or you think, oh, I'm, you know, three months or five minutes. Mm -hmm. it, five minutes can be a long time. It can be long enough. Mm -hmm. Or if you think it's not enough, then you thought it was not enough. But Alabama thought five minutes was time it enough. Was. It was. And our Tennessee Titans. Over. And our Tennessee yeah. Titans. Yes. Yes. yes, the Jets. Yeah. That was huge. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so Ohio State information. over Michigan. Shout out to my Buckeye fans. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen to us. No kidding. Okay. What do we got? Challenge? All right. Here we go. Here's our little challenge. I like this is a fun one. Okay. New research um, that has come out that has talked about um, fried foods, French fries. <gasps> this is a positive thing. Yes. Y'all, this is the holidays. I know a lot of you out there, you eat right, you exercise. Let yourself enjoy a splurge um, in moderation. But research has shown that if you um, slow down and enjoy six French fries, I know people are saying you can eat six. Mm -hmm. If you slowly savor six French fries, then that does not have negative health benefits. And you <laughs> get that little, you that little sensation and you're still splurging. What if you have seven? Well, well, you're, you're on just got a long Six French fries. Okay, you just got permission from the health lady to yeah, have six French six fries. Six French fries. But anyway, the whole point is to savor, slow down and savor yeah. instead of just mm -hmm. cramming everything in. Savor and, it. And that's true of life, too. Not yeah. just French fries. French fries is one of my huge weaknesses, and I'm not giving them up. So I'm enjoying my <laughs> six. Right. Might do it today. That is our um, What's My Purpose? What's My Why show. So. Get up every day yes. with a reason. Love Stay it. consistent and reach your goals. Don't yes. forget to dream. Thanks for joining. That's the Soar Show. Have a good day. Soar.